Ju këshim paralaj mruar se po vjen filmi i par i zhëndit horar në Gjuan Shqipe, ndërsa më shumë për projektin flet vetë producenti i filmit katunar. A i ka punuar e dy dekada në industrim e filmit kanades dhe një kohë të gjatë në televizionet atje. Ndërsa për her të par në Kosovë, Dion Ventres, jetë një intervist ekskluzive vetëm për ne nga qyteti i bukur i Torantos. Okay, so my name is Dion Ventros. I come from Toronto, Canada. Primarily, my background has been in both film and television. Um, I worked in television probably the most, um, and especially news television for a while, which, oddly enough, was really good to prepare me towards this venture of my life in film production because you have to have a delivered product that night. You have to have it ready, you have to have the story told, which is good because you're constantly problem solving. You're constantly like thinking in your head or whatever. And with film, I mean, I was dealing a lot with distributing and production to a certain extent, but up until a little while ago, film was so expensive that you know, you're very limited on productions. That's a good question. I, <clears throat> I originally had no, um, to, to do something in Albania or Kosovo, definitely not in the radar. And I was approached by someone to, to write a film um, for a company here after I had visited Kosovo casually in 2008. Ended up turning out uh, really good, but the company folded up. So I went back to see if it was possible to actually do feature films in Kosovo. I, a friend of mine, who will remain nameless, uh, was, um, we were talking about uh, another friend, and he said, well, Dion, you know, is that friend Katunar? And I said, I don't know what that means. And he said, you know, oh, you will when you come, when you come back to Kosovo, like, because some people are definitely Katunar. And then I learned like what it is, and, um, and uh, so that's why I called it that. As far, as far as the film goes, my goal is this. Not necessarily to have people uh, associate Kosovo as some kind of Katunar capital of the world, but to have them f think of something differently in the country than what people know now is primarily nothing. Um, and my travels within the country within the last year when I posted Facebook pics, you know, people are always surprised, like, you know, they have roads, they have power, they have, you're not dodging bullets or bombs. Um, I want better um, for, for people there. And by doing a silly little horror film called Katinar, if it happens, so be it. I started working on it shortly in the summertime while I was there, and after I was taken to the town of Kajnik. 
I knew nothing of, about Kajanik. And, you know, they showed me, and, and he showed me his house, and he said, you know, I said, can I film here? And he said, yeah. I said, hmm, okay, so this is, this is how we start a movie. I said, it's going to be a horror movie. I have this house. How do we, how do we gel it all together? No, we haven't started with any of the shooting yet because right now we're just tying up a bit more of the financing and then there will be casting. One of the challenges with shooting in someone like Koso is I can't just look for, like, I can't just call up a casting agency and say I'm looking for somebody who has blonde hair, blue eyes, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, I everything needs to be assembled piece by piece by piece. But through my business, I've partnered up with some of like the best production companies in Kosovo. So we're hoping to shoot for February. Definitely, I want to shoot a majority of it in the wonderful town of Kajanik. Um, some of it will be shot in. Uh, Pristina. And the film is basically about a woman named Adelina who returns to Kosovo after her father passes away. She finds that she's inherited a house in Kajanik. And so she goes there, but her reception is not really received by the house itself because there's paranormal activity and by the locals which some like her there some don't like her there i can't tell you who's going to be playing the cartoon arm and definitely still want to cast a little bit for that and primarily a lot of the actors um, like 95 percent of the crew will be will be cast in Kosovo. There's one role that I think someone like MC Kresha would be good for. But, um, and if they approach me, I'd, I'd probably like, I'd want to take a look at them. But, you know, uh, I primarily want to work with, like, definitely people that want to get the job done. They're not sitting there thinking they're going to be some kind of international star. You know, like, we got a film to make, and there's a timeline. And the timeline ticks because I'd like to have this ready for the Cannes Film Festival to sell for May. So, time ticks. I'm not Albanian, so therefore I can't write in Albanian. <laughs> so the script was written in English, and, but the interesting thing about it is when they're speaking, it's a hybrid of between Albanian and English because one of the characters is from Canada, so he doesn't speak out. I realize the economic situation in Kosovo, and so many of my friends there are not working, and that bothers me. So therefore, you know, for a majority of people that work on the film, they get paid on. If we build this infrastructure for movies to get made, it's, it's going to happen. I also encourage people to, uh, to visit our social media, which we have a Facebook page called um, WW Facebook, Katuna, uh, backslash Katuna the Movie, um, Twitter it's Katuna the Movie, and if they want to participate within the making of the film and maybe they know someone who knows someone that can help out in some way to get the film made. Um, this, is, this is what will lead to uh, its success besides the actual film itself because it needs people to come together to, in order for it to stay.